This video is going to show you how to make individual pepperoni rolls. To make the dough, you need four and a quarter cups of flour. I use bread flour. One and a fourth tablespoons of sugar, right here. You need one and a half teaspoons of salt. And you need one envelope of quick rising yeast. Put that in there. Also, you need two cups of warm water. I just let the I let the tap water run for a little bit till it's hot, and then use it. And you will need one tablespoon of margarine. One little chunk there. Now we're going to put it on the mixer and use the hook to mix it. Going to put our hook on. And mix it slow till it's all a nice little ball. Take about five minutes to mix it up. See how all the flour is gone from the sides? That's what you want. That means your dough's done when all the flour is off the sides. So now we're going to take it out and make four ounce balls. Four ounce balls and how I do that I have an ice cream scoop. Ice cream scoops come in different sizes. I have a four ounce scoop. If you don't have a scoop four ounces equals one half cup. So if you have a measuring cup just use a half a cup measuring cup. I'm going to put a little flour on top too. It'll be so it won't stick as much to the ice cream scoop. So here's my ice cream scoop, it's four ounces. So you just fill it up till it's level, drop it down. Okay, come out level, you have eight pepperoni rolls. Now each pepperoni roll will have 20 pieces of pepperoni in it and some ground provolone cheese. So once you get your balls made, we're going to just Firm them up a little. Okay, you just fold it, fold it, fold it like that. Put a little flour on it so it doesn't stick to the parchment paper. And while this gets to raise for a little bit, before we actually make the pepperoni rolls, we're going to grind our cheese. I'm going to show you how to do that. Them all nice little ball, put a little flour on top and on the bottom. I'm going to let them raise. We're going to grind our cheese in our food processor. And this is how you grind the cheese. This is two pounds of provolone cheese. All I did was went to the deli, asked them to cut me off a chunk of provolone cheese, make sure it is non smoked provolone cheese. This is made by Kushmeyer. It's very good. All I did was got a big chunk of it, about that big, and then chopped it up in pieces so I can put it in my food processor. Just put the chunks in. I'm 
we're just going to grind it up. Okay, all our cheese is ground. See how nice and ground up it is? You also need your pepperoni. And our dough is ready. Now you just want to stretch it out. about a six inch circle remember how we uh, tucked everything under what I like to do when I stretch it out is put the top on the bottom so it's smooth when you're done first we'll put 20 pieces of pepperoni in it And that is 20. And then we're going to put a half a cup of cheese on it. Just like that. Then we're going to take the ends here. Tuck that in. Tuck this in. Bring this up. Bring this one over so everything is together you don't want anything hanging out Make sure everything is closed up because you don't want any of your cheese or pepperoni to leak out so once you have it all together then we flip it over and see how nice and flat that side is how nice and then the seam side goes down and that helps it stay together we're gonna make the rest of them and then we're gonna wait and let it raise for about an hour before we put it in the oven on 350 for 20 to 25 minutes so I'm gonna go ahead and make the rest of them I'm going to show you one more time how to do it. See how this is the top of the dough? We're going to just turn it over and stretch it out. It's about six inches. Okay, just like that. Then we need our 20 pieces of pepperoni. Then our half a cup of cheese. Then remember, fold the end up first, then this end, then come this way. Then you bring the other side up everything meets in the middle then make sure there's no holes in your dough this dough is very soft so you could work with it okay then turn it over so the seam side is down Give them room in between to raise, and that's it. I'm going to do the rest of them. I have all the pepperoni rolls made, so now we just have to wait an hour for them to raise, and then we'll put them in a 350 degree oven for 20 to 25 minutes. 
any cheese that I have left over, I just put it in a mason jar and put it in the refrigerator. That way it stays fresher longer. And also you can put it on spaghetti or pizza or anything really. You can put it in pasta salads. It is great. So now all we have to do is wait an hour and put them in the oven. The pepperoni rolls have been raising for about an hour. So I have the oven preheating at 350. We're going to put them in for 20 to 25 minutes until they're golden brown. Pepperoni rolls have just come out of the oven. And then I take a stick of butter and just rub it on the top. So it has a nice shine to it. And it gives it a little butter flavor. You just take a stick of butter and peel back the paper and just use it just like that to get it all nice butter glaze on top on all of them while it's still hot and that butter will soak right in your pepperoni roll. It'll also make it shiny. See how it's shiny instead of that dull flower looking top? You want a little bit of butter on it to make it nice and shiny. Go ahead and do all of them. I hope you like this recipe. Subscribe to my channel. I hope you try this recipe. Let me know how it turns out in the comments. Even post some pictures of how yours turn out. Just so everyone else can see how yours look. And now, since they've been sitting here for about five minutes, I'm going to cut one open and show you the inside. All the ooey gooey cheese and pepperoni. Stick it up like that. Try to zoom in a little. See how much pepperoni and cheese is in there. I hope you enjoy this recipe. Like and subscribe to my channel. Till next time, enjoy your pepperoni roll.